Hey everybody, it's been a long time. We're back. Welcome to Cats Contemporary Art Talk Show. C A T S. C A T S. I'm here with Jade Myers. I'm Chris Kerr. And I'm Jay Myers. And today we're going to talk about artist uh, Arno Beck. Yeah, we're doing, doing things a little differently. We only have one artist we're talking about, and it's a foreign artist from a different country. Yes, this is The World Is Yours. Um, it is based off a of Jay-Z song title, and the artist is Arno Beck. I, I, I like this one. I like it. It's got a lot going on. It's a lot, a lot going for it. My favorite part, honestly, is probably the little birds. I don't like it at all, but some things that I do like are, um, Arno is using a lot of the design principles, being overlap, tension, um, scale. See, there's a lot of tension because Mickey Mouse has his head stuck in like a bull skull, um, and then he's about to smash an apple. So it's like, it's like a balancing act. I did, I did not get that all from this image, but I like uh, the idea of Mickey Mouse being in this somehow. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it's neat because it's just black and white. It's kind of simple, but yet uh, it's bit, you know, I'm all about that bit stuff. Like it's all kind of um, pixelated. Yeah. Uh, I don't like anything about it. I think it is simple and understated. And I think um, less is less in this case. And I think it really could have benefit, benefited for some, like earth tones to give it like a kind of uh, maison saint uh, atmospheric quality. Uh, no, I like it. I think that you're um, being a little harsh, you know, but that's okay. Okay, I'll do like one one thumb slightly down and one like slightly up, but not very much. I like that. This would be cool. Like if it's a t-shirt, like a t-shirt idea, put that on a t-shirt. Oh man, I'd, I'd probably pay, you know. Out of 10 stars, I'll I would give this. I would give this a nine divided by three, so three stars. Two thumbs up. Final answer. I like it. Do you, should I read? The, the artist has got a statement for it, too, I think. Yeah. Derek sent me. Let me see here what it is. Uh, it says, Arno Beck lives and works in Bonn, Germany. His prints and conceptual paintings evolve around digital aesthetics and focus on analog productions of digital images. Engaging with the language of digital culture, the motifs are based on the low resolution computer graphics game and interfaces. I like that. See, I like, I like old, I like, uh, uh, it is an interplay between like, the- Not to interrupt, but I don't like video games. I like board games. So right when like board games kind of went out of favor on video games, I just stopped paying attention. <clears throat> uh, it, um, interplay between the contemporary digital screen world and traditional text, tech, techniques focusing on the analog production of computer generated imagery. He transforms those digital images into the pictorial space capturing digital aesthetics and painterly means. With his hands he interferes with the machine claims its field of competence humanizing technology and making it less perfect. Due to the lengthy manufacturing process the declaration uh, if it was my statement, I wouldn't have said with with his hands he interferes. I would have said something like with his hands he molests the canvas to, to kind of make it like very like contemporary and kind of. Mm, ooh. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, okay, moving along. This next image we have for you is called Sancho Poncho. It looks kind of like somebody wearing a muumu outfit. Yeah, I think it's olive oil carrying a French baguette, wearing um, yeah, some sort of muumu. I like that one. That's good. I like the shadow under the rear end portion. Mm. Uh, this is, they're all 30 by 40, which is a quite large canvas. Like, that's huge. No, that's centimeters. Centimeters in Europe. They're on the metric system. Yeah. So it's not that okay. big. All right. But still, still, I'm sizable. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I, like the I also depth. like the name. I like Sancho Pancho. It's good. It's good. Um, uh, I give this one nine baguettes. I'll do like a thumb up, thumb kind of. That's all right. It's pretty cool. I give it nine baguettes and one small glass of sangria. Okay, let's go over, um, to the next one. Derek is putting it up. It's called uh, 
Crucifixion. Crucifixion. Okay. Wow, that one's intense. That looks like maybe a heart or a brain. Did you know that Los Cruces in California it means the crosses? Hmm. Makes me just kind of think of this. Hmm. All right, I was looking at this for a while, meditating, uh, pausing, um, maybe even said a prayer over this one. And it looks to me like it is a scene of Jesus riding into Jerusalem um, of Nazareth on an ass's head. Okay. Huh. Uh, like a donkey. That's hmm. what they call it in the olden times in the Bible. An ass. Okay. I see a strawberry. I see a sword. I see a brain. I see... Oh, I do see the strawberry. Yeah. What about, it's kind of like Garfield's ears on top. Oh, yeah. See, I thought that was like the um, bud of the strawberry. This one is interesting. Then, this one really captures my attention. I think it can hold my attention pretty for quite a while, actually. That's not even really an artistic critique, though. It holds my attention. Well, whenever I go to like an art gallery or something, if something doesn't hold my attention, then it's not worth going to, right? So if oh, I go to a good. show and somebody says every single one of these images is going to capture my attention, yeah, hell yeah, I'm going to go because that means I'm going to have like a lot to do when I'm there. That's so true. And then I think in the top corner looks kind of like a, um, a flask or a thermos of some sort, which kind of makes me think of that famous photograph called Piss Christ. <laughs> I forget the artist's name. It was a photographer who did a, a very controversial work called Piss Christ, which um, lost his NEA grant and made it very difficult to get grants in America after that mm. um, fantastic piece. Mm. Very interesting. I think um, all, all three of these are, are uh, they all capture my attention and they're all, you know, pretty good. Yeah, I did not like the first one at all. And if I ever get a chance to meet Arnold, I would tell him, hey, I, you know, I respect you, but I do not respect that first work at all. That's like um, the second one, I was becoming like peaked, like intrigued a bit. Um, and then this third one, I think he just knocked it out of out of uh, Gal Golgotha with this one. Yes, place of the skull. It's like if Jesus was dying at Golgotha and Babe Ruth was there and Babe Ruth hit a home run over Jesus' head huh. and maybe knocked off one of the thorns from the crown. That's huh. kind of how I feel about this last one. Uh, so I give this last one um, probably nine stigmatas and a small glass of Jesus' blood. Blood of Christ. Uh, and I'll give uh, it two um, thumbs up thanks everybody this has been another episode of pat's contemporary art talk show contemporary with art me, talk show with me chris kerr and jay myers thank you